Hey guys, so I've had my record player for almost a year now um, and so I thought I would show you my uh, record collection. So my record player is a Bush record player and it's one of the suitcase ones in this beautiful blue colour. It was like £20 from Argos, I was bought it as a birthday present and I was stuck googly eyes onto the front of it because they make me very happy because now it's got a face. So when I first got my record player, I bought three records initially and then I stole my friend Chloe's thing where she buys herself a record every payday and then I got given some records for Christmas and I also got given money for Christmas which I spent on records. So in the year that I've had my record player, I've built up quite a collection. Um, some of these are new, some of them are second hand. I thought I would show you what I've got. So the first one that I've got is Neck Deep's Life's Not Out To Get You. It's got this like pretty book bit to it with like a bigger bit of artwork in it and it's also a coloured vinyl so it's this pretty blue colour, it's really nice. I got this one because I've got a tattoo on my ankle that says Life's Not Out To Get You despite the things you've been through and I got that done just before my 20th birthday two years ago so when I bought my record player for my 21st birthday I thought it was quite fitting. The second one that I got was Panic at the Disco's Two Words Live, Two Rare to Die. <coughs> I love Panic at the Disco. I've like always, like as far as I can remember, have listened to Panic at the Disco. We used to listen to it at school, I used to listen to it with my family. Um, <coughs> Panic at the Disco was one of the first gigs that I ever went to. So, yeah. And the last one of the first three that I bought is Arctic Monkeys, whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. We are all affected by the music choices of our family as we grow up. And I was very fortunate because my sister loved reading Enemy and my mum always had us listening to the kind of music that I'm listening to now, still. Um, so when I was like 10 years old, I stole an Arctic Monkeys poster from my sister um, from her copy of Enemy and that was the poster that was above my bed. So. <coughs> Needless to say, I love this album. Just like a, pl it's just a plain black record, but it's got like a photo sleeve of it, and then there's also like an ashtray on the centre of the record on side B, which is really cool. The next two I bought together. So this was on my first trip to Vinalo Record Store, which is a really cool store in Southampton. The people who own it are vegan, so they've got like vegan coffee and milks and stuff, and then they've got like cakes and pastries that you can buy whilst you're, uh, to like enjoy whilst you're browsing. Um, <clears throat> so when I f went in the, the first time, I had to be really restrained because I could have bought like eight different records, but it would have cost me so much money. Um, so I ended up with these two albums, which I'm really happy with. Um, so <clears throat> Bastille's bad blood. So this album holds a lot of memories for me. It came out like two summers before I finished secondary school which means it was like the album of my summers when I was like 15 and 16. Absolutely loved it. I have like fond memories of me and Tara and our other friends at school singing and listening to Bastille during our science classes. It came with this like book thing and it's got like the lyrics for all of the songs in it but then it's also got this like centre page that's got loads of photos and polaroids of them on tour which is really cute. I think all of my fondest Bastille memories have Tara in them so it's like at school listening to them and like over the summer and that kind of thing. And then in 2015 we went to Reading Festival together and Bastille were playing. But before they played we were like sat down watching the band that was on before them eating Oreos. So now as soon as it gets like remotely sunny I'm just like Tara get here, let's get out in the sunshine and eat some Oreos and listen to Bastille. And like those things will always be related, like Tara, Bastille and Oreos, like forever joined. The other record that I got from Vinalo was Nirvana's Unplugged Live in New York. My mum had this CD in the car when we were growing up so we used to listen to it a lot. Um, I'm a big fan of this album. And Nirvana, I love it. The next one I have is the La La Land 
soundtrack, which I know like some people are gonna think that's not very shady, but I really enjoyed this film, and like I'm not the biggest jazz fan, but like I've really enjoyed the soundtrack to this film, and I've seen the film quite a few times now. I feel like it's kind of impossible to feel sad whilst listening to this album, so yeah. When I saw it in Vanillo, I bought it and I don't regret it. So the next one that I have is With Confidence is Better Weather. And this is the splatter print that they released the album in, which I'm just very, very happy about. So it's so pretty. I bought this second hand. I bought it from Depop. So I think I paid like £13 for it, including postage, which is just fantastic, especially because it is the splatter print and it's not just the regular one um, but I bought this because I really wanted Love and Loathing but we don't have a HMV in Southampton anymore and I was kind of looking at ordering it from them and having it delivered and the postage was just mad so I was just like I'll just wait until it's been out for a bit longer and then it might go down in price or I might go to a HMV so I bought this one this one arrived and I was listening to it and enjoying it and then my friend Connor messaged me and he was just like hey I'm down for a while do you want to go for lunch on Monday I'm in, like staying in Winchester and I was just like sounds like a great plan can you do me a massive favour and go to HMV and pick me up this record because I really want it and we don't have one in Southampton anymore um, which then resulted in in this this cute little babe turning up to my house and this is also one of the, the pretty ones. So this is the three-way colour split. Makes me very happy. I think I love this album extra because it was released whilst I was at Summer in the City and because I was leaving the Airbnb that we had earlier than the people I was staying with were, I was listening to music on my way to the Excel Centre so the first listen through I had of this album was whilst walking to Sipsy, which just makes it re makes me really happy. The one problem with that though is that in the song Sing To Me, there's the line, Sing To Me, Won't You Emily? But because it's Sipsy, and it's just Sipsy frame of mind, in my head, every time, and I hear it every time I listen to the song and I have to remind myself that it's not the line, and whenever I sing it, when I'm not listening to it, the line comes out as sing to me, won't you Emberly? As in Emberly 99, as in the precious gem, Emma Salida, who organises the pre sixty gathering, and Emberly Miss, and various other gatherings. So, you know, that's not a terrible thing. That's not a terrible thing to come into my head every time I listen to this album, but I love it. Thank you again, Connor, for picking this up for me. Next, we have Blossoms, it's their self-titled. You will notice that there are some bends in this. It's not in the, the best condition. That's because I bought it second-hand, and this one only cost me like £10. It plays perfectly, so I don't really mind that. This one has again got one of these like cute little books with it. It's got like all of the lyrics in it and got photos. And yeah, it's very good. So the next four are ones that I got for Christmas. So my stepmom was in charge of picking Christmas presents. She usually is in charge of picking presents in general. Um, and she was looking through the, the list that I've got of records that I want and she said that this was the only band that she recognised on the list, which is adorable in so many ways. So she bought me this and the, she recognised it because a couple of years ago I bought tickets for me and my dad to go and see Next Eat when they came to Southampton. So this, like the other one's got this like page of like extra artwork and then it's another pretty one. So this one is a white one. And then my sister's boyfriend bought me a record for Christmas as well and he picked Paramore's Riot and he said he picked this one because he remembered listening to it when he was in his like late teens, early twenties. So yes, big fan of that. It's got like a half lyric sheet, half poster with it and it's just a plain black record but it's got the album artwork on like the circle. 
and then both sets of grandparents gave me money for Christmas. Um, so I had like 40 quid in total. And my parents were going up to see my stepdad's parents and they were going to be near a HMV. And I was just like, hmm, maybe could you possibly pick me up some records? And they were just like, no, Sadie, don't be ridiculous. No, we can't. We're going on holiday. We're not going to go and buy you records. So I checked Depop to see what was there. And there wasn't really much that I like really wanted. Um, and I checked through my Amazon wishlist again. And again, there was nothing that was like jumping out at me. And then the next, uh, so this was on Christmas Day. And then on Boxing Day, I was just like, I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna have another look, see what's going on. I somehow managed to get both Catfish and the Bottom End records for like 27 pound. So they're usually like 24 pound each. So I don't really know what was going on. I don't know how I managed this, but I'm very happy about it. So they both got like the same kind of design. So they've got like the album artwork on the front and then they've both got this like foldy out bit with all the lyrics on it. And then they're just plain black records, but these bits are cool. I really like them. So I pre-ordered this in November, but it wasn't released until January, obviously when the EP was released. And I'm just very, very happy to own this. This uh, Fickle Friends 8 inch is my only 8 inch. I don't know why I've not like particularly avoided them, but this is the only one that I found that I wanted to buy. Again, I bought this one on Depop second hand. It was like £8, including postage. This is the um, Flying Vinyl Press of the Broken Sleep EP, which is very cute. So this is like generally just an exclusive for people who are subscribed to the box, but I guess somebody didn't like Tickle Friends and so they sold it. It's also this very cute like translucent green. So the next four are technically only two months worth of records but I keep managing to find really good deals on Depop if you haven't noticed already. I've also found some other deals that I've sent to other people who buy records. Um, so for a whole £24 I managed to get both Mooseblood albums and these are also both limited edition presses of the albums. So um, I'll keep you in mind from time to time. Is this clear with a little bit of this black to it? And then blush. So she was like, oh, I'm sorry, but I won't be able to post it for like another 10 days. And there's also like this tiny little blip on one of them. So this is like tiny, tiny little stain on the front of blush. But it's also got this like Happy at a bit as well and it's this cute pale pink and then I was just searching through just looking through as I do on Depop just to like save them so that they're there for when I am gonna be buying one and somebody had posted both of these and I liked both of them she messaged me and she was like I've seen that you've liked a few of the records that I've got for sale so just to let you know I do bundles um, on like multiple records so you can just do two or you can do more than two just message me about any if you like if you're interested and I replied and I was just like thanks for letting me know for now I'm just like curating a list but she was like yeah message me and let me know what kind of bundle I could do for you if you were interested in buying more than one from me and I was like thanks for letting me know for now I'm just kind of curating a list because it's nearly my birthday I know people are inevitably going to ask me what I want and then I can just send them a link to a record and she was just like, okay, um, let me know if I can help you at all. A couple of weeks went past and I decided it was nearly payday and so it was time to buy a new record. It's also nearly my birthday and I'm okay with buying myself a birthday present. That's not a thing I'm above. So I messaged her and I was like, how much would you do both mobile albums for? And she was just like, oh, I'll do it for 35 and then you will only have to pay for one lot of postage as well. Um, so she had this list of them at like £20 each. So I saved like a tenner because of the postage as well. And I got both of these. So I've got Sport and You're Gonna Miss It All. And I've, so I bought these and then I messaged Connor and I was just like, look at these that I've just managed to get them this price. I'm so excited for them to turn up and he's just like, I introduced you to Mobo and I don't even own those, that's not fair. You're gonna miss it all, is this beautiful blue colour, but it's like, 
almost a marbly blue colour. Very pretty. And then Sport has got like a little bit more of an exciting inner jacket. And it's green. So that is it. That is my first year of collecting records. Very pleased with it. Very, very happy with the sheer amount of records that I've owned that I own. The amount of money I've managed to save on buying all of these as well, which is insane. Um I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the records that I own. It's quite a few. And I will you guys next time.